Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to raw downsample a photo using the decimation approach, which is just a fancy way of saying we are going to keep some rows and some columns and just throw out the rest. It's very simple if we just remember that images are simply values and matrices. Let's take a look. We're gonna read in an image, convert it to RGB, from RGB to gray, and then create a copy, and I'll show you what we're working with here. This image, and it's pretty big, 2000 by 1500 pixels. That's gonna be a lot to work with if we have a ton of these photos. So I want to downsample it to something much more reasonable. To do this, we're gonna run this downsampling section, which is just using indices in a fancy manner. This, all this is saying right here, if we do one to 10 to 100, is giving us this range of values. And gets us to the end of the first dimension, which are the rows. So we're going from the first row every 10th to the 2016th rows in this case. And then here we're going from the first column, every 10th column, to get to the last column, which is the 1512th. We're just gonna subset that off, right? That's how indices work. We can grab these items out of that matrix, and then we'll store them in this new matrix, which we're just calling IMG again to overwrite it. You can then save that image if you want, and it'll show up in your current workspace. And then we'll display both the original photo and the final photo on separate figures for ease. Go ahead and run that. You can already tell the difference in size, right? The second figure is going to be much smaller because it's much less data we're using for it. Don't need this anymore. And here if I blow, let's put this up here and let's see if I can fill this over here. You can tell, look at the loss of quality, even in the text here at the bottom. We really kind of got some junk here. It's not horrible. The pyramid's not as smooth coming down, more chunky. Best practice is to in fact do a blur before we downsample. I'll show you how to do that. Now I've got an entire video on blurring and I encourage you to watch that. Link in the description of this video. But boom, here is the code that you need. These two lines you just wanna insert right here. This will do a blur on our image and then we proceed to downsample afterwards. You can still write this to the image if you want to. I don't need to do that anymore. You can see I already have my pyramid two there in the current folder, and then go ahead and display these things again. I don't need this to output either. We run this, and now we get a blurred and then downsampled image. You can tell it's a little bit clearer in comparison to the previous one that I showed you guys with just the straight decimation. Usually, doing a blur and then decimating will get you a slightly more accurate picture when doing your downsampling. Of course, I did this with taking every 10th row and 10th column. You could switch this to do every other row and every fifth column, as you please. Of course, you get some weirder dimensions that way, but the notion's there that you have high customization throughout this. You can also change over how, like what grid you want to do your blur over. This is a five by five mask. You can make this a 10 by 10 mask or a simple two by two mask and so forth. Hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a whole series on image processing. I hope you check it out. Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you back on the channel. Have a good day. Cheers.